Welcome to Excel 2010 statistics video number 26. Hey, if you'd like to download this workbook, Excel 2010 statistics chapter 3, click on the link below the video. In this video here, we want to talk about location. Now, last video we talked about mean, median, and mode. We talked about how they are typical values calculated so that we have one value that can represent all the data points. We also mentioned that these are measures of central location. In particular, median finds the one in the middle. Now, last time we learned that a measure like median is great when you have some really big or small values, because it'll find a typical value by positionally finding the one in the middle in a sorted list. Let's go look at what we did there, because remembering how we calculated Median will help us with percentile and quartile. So what do we do? We sorted them, and it doesn't matter if you do small to big or big to small, and then the one in the middle. For, for an even number, we average the middle two. For an odd one, we just take the one in the middle. Now think about what this does. Median tells you right there, there are 50% of the values below and 50% of the values above. It's actually 50% less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. Same with here. Right in between there is the average, so 50% below, 50% above. So what it does when we calculate a median is it gives us a point that divides the set into two, 50% below, 50% above. Now let's go back over to our sheet location. Percentiles and quartiles are similar. Let's talk about a percentile. If you say, give me the 50 percentile, it actually would give you the median, right? Because percentile, when you say 50%, that means 50% above this particular marking point and 50% below. Now, here's another example. Example in the CPA exam, 70th percentile. If we calculate it and it's a score of 61, it means 70% of the scores are less than or equal to 61, and 25% of the scores are equal to or greater than 61. So if you say 70th percentile, when you calculate it, it gives you a number, which is a dividing point, 70% below, 25% above. Now quartiles. Core, quartiles means four. So this will divide the set into four parts. Now think about this. When we do percentile or median, it divides the set into two parts. There is one marker. With quartile, it divides the set into four parts. There are three markers. So for a CPA exam, the first, second, and third quartiles, quartiles, if we did it in percentiles, it would be 25%, 50%, and 75%. Those markers, when we calculate them, would be 45, 52, and 64, right? So if you tell us 64, that's the third quartile. 75% of the scores were below 64, 25% above. Percentile rank will do exactly the opposite of percentile. Percentile will say 70th percentile and we'll try to calculate a number. Here, we'll give it the number, and it'll give us the percentile rank. All right, let's see a, an example of each one of these. And in this video here, we're going to do mean, median, and mode, and percentile, quartile, and percentile rank. In our next video, we'll actually get into much more detail about how uh, more detail about percentile and quartile. But here we just want our initial uh, introduction to location. All right, so here's our little data set. Let's calculate the mean or the average. Okay, eleven dollars and twenty-five percent. So that's the one value that we're going to use to represent all the data points. All right, now median. We talked about how this is great when there are extreme values. Doesn't look like we have any extreme values here, but the median tells us the one in the middle. So one way to think of the median is 50% of the values are less than or equal to 10, whoops, yeah, to 1050 here, and 50% of the values are greater than or equal to 1050. All right, and understanding median in this way will then make the conceptual jump, jump to percentile easy, right? Because this is, when we express it as percentile 
it says 50% above, 50% below. And 50% percentile will always equal the median. All right, mode, we saw how last video, best for categorical data. I used the wrong function there. Here we're going to use mode.single. But you can also use the mode function for number data or quantitative data. So let's find out what the mode is here. Nine bucks. And if you look through visually in this small data set, we can see that is true. Now let's try percentiles. All right. So we're going to use something called the percentile function. Now, there's a bunch of new functions in 2010. Here's the old percentile function we used to use. The one they, they've added two percentile functions. And it will be the same extension, either .inc for inclusive or .exc for exclusive. It will be the same extension INC, EXC for quartile and percentile rank. Now this percentile dot INC is the same as the earlier function percentile. We will talk about the difference uh, between these two and some other methods for calculating percentile in the next video. For this video we're just going to use this one right here. And really all it's going to do is we're going to give it the array which means all of those comma and you tell it a K. The K is always going to be expressed as a decimal or a percentage. So when we say, hey, percentile function, look through all the values and give us the 75th percentile, it'll give us a number, $14.25. That means that's the marking point. And you could see over here, right, here's uh, everything below 1425 and here's everything above, right? So that's the marking point. Even though it doesn't exist in the list, it's still the marking point which divides the data set into two parts. As soon as you say 75% or 0.75 percentile, 75% of the values are less than or equal to 1425 and 25% are greater than or equal to that. All right, quartile. Quartiles uh, next video we'll see we'll actually do all four and actually we'll see that there's five because the minimum and maximum can also be included as markers. But here I just want to do the third quartile to show you that the third quartile and the 75th percentile are exactly the same. All right, And we'll talk about the difference between .exe and .inc next video. Really, as we'll see in next video, percentile and quartiles are estimates. You notice for 1425, it's just an estimate in there, right? And there are a couple different ways to calculate that estimate. For large data sets, it's kind of a moot point. For small data points, there might be some differences. All right, so quartile array comma, and then it asks us which one. So we're going to say three, so I'm simply going to click right here. Notice this little uh, drop down is totally polite. It reminds you that third quartile is the same as 75th percentile. Same exact thing applies here. Now, quartile percentile. Percentile rank is the opposite of percentile, right? I'm going to say, hey, percentile rank function, take this number and it will give me the percentile. All right, so it's the opposite of what percentile did. Percentile function, we gave it the uh, decimal or percentage and it spit out a number. Here, we're going to give it the number and it's going to spit out the per uh, percentage or decimal. So percentile rank right here, array. That's our va uh, set of values. The x, that's going to be our value. And significance, this tells you how many digits you want it to round to. Uh, if you leave it out, and a cool thing about this is a function screen tip. If you see the argument listed in square brackets, it means you can leave it out and it will assume the default. Now you have to know what the default is. Um, and you can do that a few ways. If you have your function typed out and you click right here on the f of x button, 
you can, and we talked about this in chapter 00, using the functions argument dialog box gives you more information. Significance, you can read right down here. It tells you three digits if omitted. You can also click on the help here anytime you have trouble with functions. The, uh, on, the help on this function blue link is awesome. All right, so I'm going to leave the default out. I'm going to click OK. And sure enough, hey, um, the reason it's showing lots of decimals is because I have uh, the decimal showing. Just to show you, right now it's calculating the correct answer because it's 75. That third zero, there, there is no significance there, so it's not showing anything. This is just formatting, right? We talked about formatting as facade, so if I decrease the decimal, then that would be uh, just fine. It's calculating when we left the default out right there. It was just number formatting was showing all those extra zeros. All right, so percentile rank. Now we know this value is at the 75th percentile. It means 75% below, 25% above. How would you calculate the above? You'd say, hey, 1 minus this. And that would give you the number of values above, 25% above 14, 25. Now, we, this is a little simple set here. And we can look through it and probably guess. How did they calculate that 0.75? Well, where is 1425? It's right there somewhere. How many values are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. How many are total? 8. So if I calculate equals 6 divided by 8, there it is. Right here, 2 divided by 8, that means how many are above? 1, 2. And there's a total of 8. So if I come down here and say equals 2 divided by 8, so the concept of percentile, quartile, and even median at 50% is pretty straightforward. It's just you know, counting how many items, finding a position, and then saying so many are above, so many are below. All right, so in this video, we just talked about location, right? Here's the data set. Where is the location? This is a typical value. This is the one in the middle. This one is the one that occurs most frequently. Again, typical value. It's kind of like the one in the middle you can think of. Percentile divides the data set into two parts. So many percentages below and above. Quartile, we only looked at the third quartile. But next uh, video, we'll see how to use quartile to find the 25th, the 50%, and the 75th percent quartile. And then percentile rank, that just allows us to give the function of value, and it tells you what the actual percentile is. All right, next video, we'll talk a lot more about percentiles and quartiles. See you next video.